What up, dudes? It's Gaz. And welcome back to another Warframe video. So, with the new full auto changes in Warframe, making basically every gun full auto with the setting turned on, the Latron Prime has risen up the ranks as one of the best weapons in the game. It was already really good, but yeah, today we'll be showing it for level 10,000 enemies with Mag Prime's Bubble, because it's a really good weapon for Mag's Bubble in 2024 after these changes, so let's get right into it. Before we do, make sure you're sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, build guides, news videos, discussion videos, all that kind of stuff. You're in the right place for Warframe content. Thanks for the support on the recent videos. All right, so let's get into right what we have today with the Latron Prime and Mag Prime. I'll be showing all the builds I was using in this high-level footage and basically what you could replace if you do want to replicate it uh, but don't have every little thing because I am using a crit chance riven in here to get constant red crits. All right, so the idea of the build loadout today is we'll be using Mag Prime and her second ability, Magnetize, to put a bubble on the enemies, and we'll be firing out the Latron Prime and Karnon Forms Fireball, which will bounce around in the in the bubble and destroy basically everything. Uh, we have Hunter Munitions on here, but for this kind of content, actually for any content, you don't really need Hunter Munitions because we're already killing them in like one hit, basically. So I will be showing the build that I use in here with, with Hunter Munitions on it, but yeah, you can go forward and like change that to something else, honestly, if you want to. All right, so yeah, Mag can give Shield Gate, Mag can give Armor Strip, Mag can do like weapon synergy with her bubble. There's plenty of crazy things with Mag, uh, but it involves you knowing how to play her as a thing. And for me, I don't even read what Mag's abilities really do. The way I look at them, second ability puts a bubble on them that destroys them. Third ability stuns nearby enemies to make these little shards and does some Armor Strip. And the fourth ability stuns everything, and with the augment, it's a full armor. That's basically how I play mag. I don't really think about too much more beyond that. We're going to go ahead and show the synergy in the simulacrum right now, so you can see how this works. Now, as far as all the items we have, I'm going to quickly show them before we utilize it. And yes, this is my amazing mag big brain fashion frame. So we got mag prime, Latron prime, epitaph. This will be epitaph prime that comes out in about seven days. And the Prados. There is no Prados prime, but this is... Technically, the Predos Prime. For our companion, we have the Diraga Sentinel and the Prime Laser Rifle Sentinel weapon. As far as the build on Mag, we've got at least two casting speed shards. We've got three casting speed tower shards. Casting speed is extremely helpful on Mag, so I'd recommend jamming as much of that as possible so you get over 100% casting speed. We've got two parkour velocity shards, making it so we can jump through the mission even quicker to get between those exilizers. Additionally, we've got a Sprint Speed and Ability Strength Invigoration. If you don't have this active, it's not going to matter at all. The Power Strength does not really help Mag that much. But yeah, as far as the build, we've got Vigorous Swap and Fracturing Crush, some of the most important mods on this build. Vigorous Swap, we swap up to get big damage increase on our weapons. And Fracturing Crush and the other enemies are slowed and will get reduced armor when we use our fourth ability. And we cast our ability, fourth ability so fast with those, those Casting Speed Shards, it's quite nice. Now, as far as the rest of the stuff on your holster and for even more damage when swapping, this is not needed until, like, level, like, 6,000 at least. So, yeah, not really needed, but helpful. Prime your footed because getting knocked over is annoying. Prime continuity because more duration can be helpful with things like Nourish, not to recast all the time. Equilibrium is quite nice here as we are getting lots of kills, and we do need to have content energy to survive. I'd highly recommend using this. You've got Archon Stretch because Diraga is equipped. Diraga's Electrical Shock is going to cause us to proc, giving us some built-in energy regen. Although, there are times it feels like it doesn't work, unfortunately. So, yeah, you don't need to run this, but you can. Umbral Intensify. This is what I got here for Power Strength, and that's all we really need. I mean, if I was to not have this integration going, we'd still have 100% Armor Strip. We've also got Molt Augmented for more Power Strength, too. Prime Flow to cast Constant Abilities. Rolling Guard in case our Shield Gate breaks, leave us some more time to recast our 4. And Arcade Aegis. 3% of the time works every time. It gives us basically crazy shield regen when this procs. And we have shields restoring so often that it's going to happen pretty pretty frequently, honestly. For the Latron Prime, our Incarnon options are going to be Riddled Target, Marksman's Hand, and Critical Parallel. We, are not, we do not need the armor strip of this thing because we're playing Mag that has built-in armor strip. Epitaph. Now, funny thing is, Epitaph actually had no mod in this slot for the run. Like, there was no mod in this slot for the run. This is why I ran for level 10,000. That should put it in perspective that you don't really need to have a good build on this, but I'd still recommend putting on a somewhat decent one. We've got Viral Heat, but I've got Nourish on my mag, so we'll have Viral on here anyway, so you just throw whatever element you feel like on here. Secondary Encumber to give more proxy enemy. It's just, it's not necessary, but that's what we got anyway. And a Fire Rate Multi-Shot Riven. 
For the Prados, it's really not used. It's mainly used for the parkour velocity and sprint speed increase. Because we have a lot of sprint speed and a lot of parkour on this setup right now. But yeah, you don't need to use that at all. And as far as the Diraga build, my my standard Diraga build. But yeah, again, the shock was not working with Archon Stretch sometimes. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And the Prime Laser Rifle. If you don't have a crit chance ribbon, don't use the Prime Laser Rifle. Use something else. Uh, but yeah, if you do have a crit chance ribbon, we have maximum vigilante on here, two vigilante mods, and we've got uh, a bunch of extra procs too, so we'll get lots of procs on the enemies. And for the Latron build, again, if you don't have this ribbon, I'd say maybe put on like vigilante uh, armaments instead. It'll be a lot weaker, but it would still get the job done. Uh, but as you can see here, we have Bane of the Grenier on our ribbon, and we have Bane of the Orican on our mod slot. In the Void Cascade Omnia Fissures, the enemies are Grenier and Corrupted. So running double Bane is not actually that silly there. It's not the smartest thing, to be honest. But uh, when, it, when a Thrax gets Corrupted, they become a Corrupted Thrax. And that means that the Bane the Corrupted will work on the Thrax. And the general trash ads that spawn here are going to be Kuva Grenier. So you got Kuva Grenier and Corrupted. So basically our Bane mods work on everything besides the non-Corrupted Thrax with this setup. And again, if you don't have a you don't have an anti grenier ribbon, it's not going to work like that because you, you know you'd have to put another bane mod or something there. So technically, you could do double bane if you want to use another mod slot, but I don't think I'd really recommend that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and show in the sim and exactly how this works against these uh, enemies in here. Now again, these are these are like level two hundred. So oh, and also yeah, semi semi rifle cannonade is quite nice. So as you can see right here, our fire rate is at four point one seven. If I took off semi semi rifle cannonade, it would go on a three point three three, and we'd have no punch through either. So this will lock the fire rate so it can't be altered by the negative fire rate critical delay mod, or increase for that matter. And yeah, we are killing these guys with like one hit, so you don't really need Hunter Munitions. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to replace that with a different mod, honestly. It's, it's totally up to you. I don't think you need it, but I did run it for this for this footage. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon these minions in. We got 20 level 225 Thrax. So let's just go ahead and show how you could do this in a mission. And yes, we are choosing to use weapons, but you can actually kill these guys with just abilities on mag too if you feel like it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cast Nourish. And let's just go ahead and cast our Bubble on this guy. And as you can see, I mean, I didn't have the Incarnon form, unfortunately. But if we go the Incarnon form, throw out some Epitaph, throw out that. And there should be a Bubble of Death in here. You have to kind of shoot at an angle sometimes to get those, like, crazy bounce numbers. But the projectiles have a mind of their own sometimes as well. So, yeah, if you try to shoot the Bubble kind of like at an angle, you can't have a Vortex in there. As you see right there. And that can be quite nice. The, the, the Vortex goes for a while if no enemies walk into it. We're not even armor stripping these guys right now, to be honest, guys. So, if I was to throw in an armor strip and then do this... Like, they can get hit multiple times by that, too. So, there's the Hunter Munitions doing a little bit of work there. But again, like, you're not supposed to just, like, stand there and fire one bullet at a time, so... It can be quite nasty uh, when you are using this in mission. Let's get some more mission gameplay in here. And I am running also Matarai Focus Tree to get a bunch of extra amp damage on these high-level Thrax. Uh, but yeah, guys, Mag is probably one of the best level 10,000 frames in the game, as long as you know how to play her. Uh, we did have a Dante in our squad making things a lot easier for me, thankfully. Uh, the Overguard regen really helps. But yeah, you don't technically need it as Mag. You throw down your fourth ability, get tons of shields back. I'm pretty sure her three gives you shields back, too. Um, I chose to not run the Counter Pulse Augmod, because the Counter Pulse Augmod will stun enemies like pretty far away with, with my setup. But yeah, I decided just to go with Fracturing Crush and basically big weapon damage after that. Um, I didn't need, I didn't use my Epitaph really that much at all, so I could have swapped that to like an actual DPS uh, pistol. But yeah, guys, it's really fun to play a mag with a Latron. Now this thing is full auto. It, you can just like spam the shots really easily. It has really good single target, has really good multi-target. And with mag's bubble, it makes the bubble, you know, it's a, it's a bounce house in there. There's a, there's a fireball bouncing around and... Yeah, in the right situations, it flies around quite a while. It can really shred some high-level enemies. So, highly recommend that. And honestly, the late run in general is just good now with these changes. I've been running semi-rifle cannonade and just having a great time. Like, I... Yeah, th this weapon is great now. The Strun uh, Wraith... Or not the Strun Wraith. The Strun Prime in Karnan is full auto now, too. So, that's another option I could definitely run on here in the future. But yeah, guys, if you want a relatively easy time and you have Mag Prime, I'm sure Mag Normal would work, too. Um, this is not as easy as Revenant or Octavia or Zaku or whatever, but yeah, pretty pretty easy. Um, just throw on the, the armor strip, throw on your big damage, and then if, if there's a Thrax, throw on a bubble. The bubble is not needed against pretty much anything in the game. 
Uh, but if you do have a Thrax, you might want to throw on there just to kill them a little bit quicker, because that is quite nice. And as far as Max, other abilities, like I said, I don't really read what they do. Uh, but the third ability does create these little mini shards. You, know, you might see them in my character right now, these green floating shards. When you cast Mag's Bubble, those green floating shards go into the bubble. And Nourish makes those shards do viral damage. They have, normally, their slash damage. So you cast Nourish, your shards become viral slash on Mag. That's how you can kill high-level enemies with no weapons at all, so... Pretty good stuff there. Now, as far as some other options on the build, again, we have way more damage than we actually need. Uh, do you need a, to one-shot level 10,000s? Probably not. Um, but do you want the one-shot level 10,000s? That's the real question. Um, but yeah, you don't even need all this damage to one-shot them. I'd say maybe you could take off Holster Amp. You could maybe take off... I mean, I've got a lot of power strength, so you couldn't really do that in the first place. But yeah, I don't think that the power strength is really helping that much here in the first place. So yeah, Mag's pretty flexible. There's more builds. Like Breach Surge is good on her. You know, and Snare is good on her. You don't have to run Nourish. You don't have to run the things I'm showing you. I'm showing you the, what I ran and how effective it can be. Because we did about you know, 150 Exolize or something like that. And yeah, it, I think I died once at all. And I'm going to use the excuse of me itching my nose on that one as I usually do. So yeah, great character. Uh, really good build too. And the Latron Prime is better than ever. So you guys go ahead and hopefully utilize that. Uh, to its fullest, and I will see you guys in the next video. As far as replacing Hunter Munitions, um, I couldn't really figure out exactly what I'd replace Hunter Munitions with, but there are some options, you know, such as, you know, uh, Bladed Rounds, maybe some more crit damage. Maybe a, maybe the Vigilante Armaments I was talking about earlier, maybe we could throw that on there instead, because, yeah, you don't really need Hunter Munitions. These guys die in, like, one bullet to raw damage. Um, and the Slash Proc, you can still get, like, you know, 100,000 Slash Procs, but when these enemies are just all over the place, those Slash Procs are going to take a lot of time to tick down those enemies. I'd say just go for more raw damage in the end, so... See you guys next time. Hope the video was fun and helpful. And yeah, more build videos and discussion videos coming up very soon, guys. Appreciate your support. Peace.